for the supervisor or an incoming board member to just kind of see what's going on and get used to things. That's for that person's purpose, and that's not for the controller. What the controller said is, if you choose to pay it, you should get from from you and Mike and Lou was there for some of it, exactly what was talked about. Give that to the other board members. <coughs> then they say, oh yes, this was necessary for the town. They give their written opinion. And then pay this separately and attach that to it. Okay. So when the controller comes in and they go, oh, we should have paid this, but then you've got documentation attached, you're okay. Right? So it's just a process. The only other thing is I did call the Association of Towns, and the Association of Towns from their point of view, which is different than the controller, obviously, is um, was, it, was it per contract? No, it wasn't. Was there approving resolution? No, it wasn't. They view it as an unconstitutional gift of taxpayer dollars to a resident. So you can look at it either way and do whatever you want, but those are, but I found that. I would take exception with that. I mean, I, okay. I, I don't know what the law is, but I, I would think it, it's fairly reasonable for an incoming supervisor who has to set a, a special meeting, or a, the mm -hmm. annual meeting had to take place in the first two weeks or wanted to be taking place in the first two weeks of the, of the year, have some questions about the way that was going to proceed. It's not unreasonable for them to yeah. sit down with the attorney and ask some legal questions for that. So, and actually, uh, what yeah. she said was, Whiteman Osterman is, is a outstanding law firm with outstanding attorneys. <coughs> they felt this was okay. They may differ from you. They do differ, but they differ to you. It's up to the town. I mean, if you want to take ex exception to it, we can discuss it further. I don't know if you, to what extent you've seen the bills, but yeah. we're, uh, we're more I mean, you're not, you're not looked at or reviewed by the Association of Towns, but you are by the controller. So if you follow his, their suggestions, it should be fun, I, I would say. Isn't that reasonable? Yeah, the association towns has no enforcement. Right, but the controller, the controller has enforcement. Right. So. Thank you for the question. Choose whatever. So, that's it. That's the three. I'm one of those with the big act for, so what is, why is Tim no longer one of our prior videographer? We'll call it a mutual agreement. <coughs> if you want me to expand on it, I'm okay with that. If you want to just leave it mutual. A mutual agreement between who? Between Tim and me. So you made an agreement with Tim? Yeah. Uh, and I'll expand on it if that's where you want to go. I just didn't, I wasn't aware until I got today's agenda that. You were here last week, right? I just assumed Tim was sick or something and had arranged for a substitute. I, I wasn't aware. Um, that's why I asked. No. Um, I, usually, if we were you know, hiring someone, those people come before the entire town vote. So I was kind of a little, just trying to get some background since I didn't know what was going on. So we were kind of left high and dry by Mr. Ferrioli, um, one of the board members, and not that we want to put Amy on the spot. Amy's worked for a bunch of other townships. One of the board members knew of Amy's experience. Um, again, we were down to a couple of days and we made a phone call. Who's uh, good? One of the board members. I didn't make it. So you didn't know Tim was walking? I didn't know. I knew that he was here at the last meeting and then it's Amy. Mm -hmm. uh, was here, but I, I guess that was his doing, not ours. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of any mutual agreement or, or any of that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know how I would have known. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you stand here. Mm -hmm. Could you? So I would just, I guess, ask that. My history here procedurally, if we're going to hire somebody, that's kind of something that's done by the town board, not by a single board member or one of the supervisors. Um, I just, from a procedural perspective, it would appreciate it if we would follow some kind of protocol. I feel like, you know, I come to every one of these meetings and I find out something that's been done that 
it's something that really should be formally done by resolution by a town board that either you or another individual of the board is independently taken upon themselves to do without my knowledge on the town board. For example. Board. It sounds like you hired someone without my knowledge here at, month by month um, <coughs> and without any formal resolution or procedure problem, which I don't think procedurally is valid. And you know, I don't have anything, I, I don't even know this lady. I mean, I don't have anything against her. I'm sure she's qualified about that. I'm just saying we need to have a process. Um, and the process needs to be, the town board is the legislative body here. I couldn't go out and I'm not supposed to be out hiring people and entering into verbal contracts with people without the consent and formal approval to resolution by this whole body of people. So I think it's on the agenda for tonight to approval. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm asking. It seems like that, that kind of stuff didn't happen first. I recognize that there so was. They wanted me to have a uh, special meeting. I, I recognize that there was probably some timing issues, but you know, there probably could have been some other format that would have involved all of us. That that's the way it's only been done in the past. Um, and again, from a procedural perspective, I'm sure it's procedurally invalid to enter into some kind of uh, agreement, a verbal contract with someone for appointment or whatever, without going through the formal process of the board. So it's on the agenda for tonight. It was a timing issue last week. Okay. And when you said you had numerous instances, so I guess I'm looking for a follow-up on follow up on what? I said I come to this meeting and every meeting there's something of pretty valid relevance that seems to be already underway that needs to be done procedurally by the town board that someone else has individually. For example? Well, for example, at the last meeting, I think it was our workshop meeting, you had told the town board and us that you had um, provided some documentation and direction to a single member of the ethics board who had begun amending the legal language within our ethics law, which I knew nothing about. So in a conversation that I had with the comptroller's office, I asked, is that appropriate procedure? Because in my opinion, again, historically, any direction that had been given to amend any laws in this town had come from the town board, not from the supervisor, or not from a single board member. And the information that I got back was that procedurally, that process that seems to have started is invalid, potentially unethical, and most likely illegal. Um, and that it needed to be more appropriately done through a formal process as outlined by this board and done by resolution. And it was recommended that for our own town's sake that we deal with it now. We cease and desist on the process that's been engaged and get back to doing it the right way, discuss the goals of the process, look at any documentation that had been provided Previously, you had mentioned that. Mm -hmm. You had given some uh, other towns, I guess some of it was excerpts or full, you know, comprehensive uh, copy of their uh, ethics language, or I don't really know what direction you gave, but the uh, advice that I got for us as a town was that, first of all, procedurally, that's got to be discussed in totality amongst this town for complete. Um, outline of the process needs to be given by this town board, it needs to be done by formal resolution, and it needs to go to the entire body for objectivity. The entire Not body? The entire ethics board. Or if it was a zoning issue, the entire zoning board. It shouldn't be being conducted by a single person. So, there, just, you asked me for an example of another, so there's another situation where I, I assimilate to this one. Um, that, you know, I feel like I guess it's hard not to get the feeling like there's a whole lot of stuff going on sometimes that, first of all, it's being done and, and, and legally done by the town board and that it's not. That's all. So. Can I say something? I'm just the only one who feels that way. I mean, I feel like a supervisor is a supervisor. 
to read on this. It didn't hide it from us. From who? Us, the board. I mean, it came, we had the, the draft. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about Amy or? I'm talking about what you just talked about this uh, ethics board. And Amy is another example. I mean, you know, we can, we can do it by committee and have good luck. Paralysis by analysis. Or we can step forward, and as long as we're not hiding it, and my so so anything your definition of, of hiding, I I'm just finding out. I mean, about it has what's to your definition of hiding? I, I mean, I guess I would like to find out about it before uh, it's already underway. I, I mean, this is the second it. meeting the lady's been here. I didn't know about it. So I, I, there's no process that's been followed. But um, he's our he's, the, he's not the boss. He, he has no more authority on this board than you or I. He's, he's, the, he's got responsibility to run these meetings and for the accounting, <coughs> financial accounting for the town. He, he's not the boss. That's my point. Sorry, I think that that sorry, might be the issue. Your perception, I think, is inaccurate. Um, and though your opinion <coughs> is your opinion, I'm just asking for things to be done <coughs> procedurally appropriate, legal. And in a communicative way. If you don't understand that, that's your problem. Is that the way things were done last year, Todd? I, I have no idea. I'm talking about it today. Thank you. If you have something to say, Bob, then say it. Well, we didn't know about things last year when we came. And that's my fault? No. But okay, well, I'm talking about me and us. Okay? okay. If you have something to say about me about and what I've done, then you can say it. If you have something to say about somebody else, it's got no place here. I'm just saying what you said about procedure. Okay. I am talking about procedure. Was not followed. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Bob. Okay. So if you have something you'd like to share with this board, by all means, it like. Right, Peter. Yes. Does Mike have any latitude to the supervisor to make contact with one of the boards in the town? And as long as it's, it's, it's followed up on, and, you know, with the town board. He can take <coughs> initiative with uncertain, uh, uncertain items. But as far as what his legal authority is, I think Todd's got it very close to being right, which is, although he's the chairperson here, he runs the meetings, and he has some accounting responsibility for the town, his authority is no greater than any other individual on the town board. But um, certainly any individual can take the the initiative on, on certain matters without being illegal. general without it being illegal as long as no actions are taken without the approval of the entire board. Okay. Okay. So can you repeat that last part? <laughs> as long as no actions are taken by well, without the authority of the entire board. A little bit further back. Yeah. yeah. The initiative? Yeah. So any individual can take an initiative? Yes. As any long as there's nothing to vote on? Correct. Thank you. Just to clarify something, I was the one who was in contact with Amy. I, I don't, I, I'm sure it's fine. I just think that professionalism, courtesy, you know. So Todd, I, I called just, you twice in December, twice uh, in January, sent you emails, let's meet, let's meet, let's meet. You blew me off. I'm not sure what relevance that has to well, you. Know, you asked me about contact, so. But, are we done? So this first motion, Carol, is not very accurate. Is it 13, 8, 12? Not that is, minus, minus what I talked to you about, and that one bill you can make a separate resolution for. Okay. At, right after you hire, you know, to do it in order, hire her first, then make a resolution type bill. So I have a motion for the town board to approve claim number 49 to claim 74 in the amount of $33,812.61. So I'll second it. Council members Edwards? Abstain. Ms. Pazio? Yes. Presenting? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? I want to take a second. Okay. All right, that's why you're abstaining? I don't know procedurally if it's all right, but I'm not having a problem sharing it. I've not had a chance to review, and I just don't feel comfortable. Are they still doing this? Do you want to defer and go on? 
Supervisor Joyce review and sign the 2012 intermunicipal agreement with the town of Blainford for contract services for grass cutting, snow plowing, sanding, and salting as commission required for a portion of the van package <coughs> for the yearly sum of $762 for 2012. Um, just, I've had uh, George and Pete take a look at it. It was actually the uh, the last agreement they sent us for asked for approval in 2011 was $970. So apparently, when I, I asked them to update the year, they updated the price in our favor, so it worked out well. Now, this isn't something that uh, our Amway County does. They do the mowing and stuff for our. For that one portion of the Manhattan Road. But you said contract with the main Correct. Yeah. So they don't do me in that mode. I don't know that's well. Do we have a motion? So moved. I'll second. Joe seconds. Council members Edwards? Aye. Esposito? Yes. Jasinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. We good? Mm -hmm. Do I have a motion that Supervisor Joyce review and sign the video professional services contract between Amy Goodrich and the Town of Princeton for video recording for the February 28, 2012 Town Board Agenda Meeting for the total sum of $70. <coughs> I'll make a motion. Second. About seconds. Is that Lou? Lou first, yes. Okay. Council members Edwards? No. Esposito? Yes. Kuzinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. Do you want to make a resolution now, then? 
Just record it. Yeah, we'll just insert it. Just jump in right in. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Just give me a first and a second, and then it's going to send me down. Do we have a motion to pay the February 28th mm -hmm. video bill in the amount of $70? I'll make the motion. I'll second. Second. Council Members Edwards? Yeah. Esposito? Yes. Krasinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. And the only other thing I say, we have to figure out where that's going to be paid because there's nothing in the budget for it. Mm -hmm. So we can discuss it later, you don't have to do it now. Let's go briefly about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, that Supervisor Joyce review and sign video professional services contract between Amy Goodrich and the town of Princeton for the video recordings of the March 13th. 2012 town board meeting for the total sum of $70. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Joe second. Members Edwards? No. Esposito? Yes. Drusinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. for organizational meeting dated 1-5-2012. Mm -hmm. West Blessing, Tim Bishop, Jean Gauchou, uh, Louis St. Amour, uh, Bill Liddell, Mary Suri, Mike Haycock, Dave Geisinger, Carl Barretta, or Barda, Gino Santa Barbara, Dan Marciniak, and Darla Galati be reappointed as per the organizational meeting meeting dated 1-5-2012 for the purpose of signing the oath book. So just a reminder, and I'll send out a note to everybody, if you're appointed, you have to sign the oath book, even if you're reappointed. So if everybody could make plans to stop in and see uh, Carol, it's got to be notarized. So if you guys can take care of that, 